Macaulay, I've come to see you. Uh, you had a date in Dubai. Yeah. You've been stood up, mate. <laughs> yeah. It was what it is. I found out on the Saturday, a couple of days before. I was due to fly out on the Tuesday or Wednesday. Found out on the Saturday before. It what? Didn't, didn't bother me, to be honest. It was how how can it not bother you? I don't know. I was a bit hungry, I was getting down to the way, I was just like, off. I don't know, it, it just seemed like there was a lot of obstacles in the way to get there, Covid test to get on the flight, Covid test when we got there, I don't know, just loads of different things, and then um, I got a phone call on a Saturday, and then I was just like, oh, whatever, and then I was, but, I, as well, the reason why I went as good is because I got told about that, and then in the same breath I got said, well, there's an opportunity there at Super Welter against this kid for a, it was, all, it was scheduled to be an eight rounder, but and then it was like possibly it was going to turn to a ten. But I just said, right, it was, well, so this is where we get to yeah. this fantastic uh, mindset that boxers have everything for a reason. So that fight didn't happen, but this fight that we're talking about now, what, is it a week tomorrow, is it? Yeah, week tomorrow, yeah. Week tomorrow, you get a chance to fight for a title. Yeah, so the plan was to beat Rohan, do an eight rounder, um, and then fight for a title. Anyway, but it looks like the Rowan fight pulled out, and then I've got the opportunity to fight for a title and a, and a good world ranking anyway. So it kind of like I was, I was gutted, a bit gutted that I didn't fight, but it, I've still got where I wanted to be, sort of thing. Yeah, so. Well, so everything for a reason. Yeah, isn't it? exactly. Yeah. And hopefully, I mean, but this is a strange one because I, I don't know much. I'm not even going to try and pronounce his yeah. name. I know he's in Kazakhstan. Uh, I know. Yeah, he was a very good amateur. Uh, his last couple of years, he's like Sean, and a lot of people were speaking highly of him. Yeah. And obviously, the people who are behind him believe in him because yeah, they put him in, I think his first fight his, as a pro uh, debut was an eight rounder yeah. against a kid who was six and oh, I think, or yeah, six and oh, one, something, or like, something yeah. like that. And, and now nice he's going in for the, for the, for the title, his yeah. first 10 rounder against you, fully in own one, yeah. unbeaten. I mean, this is. On paper, this seems madness. Yeah, it is, but you know, they're bringing these MDK because of how big they're becoming. They're just signing like lads like this lad I'm fighting probably won't get the opportunity to fight on such a platform and everything, usually, or in years gone by because of where he's from and geographical reasons. But I don't know, like, so, but you see more. Eastern European, Asia, whatever, all fighting now in big fights and the top amateurs that you never used to see turning over, so well, was anything really high of him. It's fair to say Kazakhstan's national sport is boxing now. Yeah. Um, so if you're good and you're in Kazakhstan, you, you know you're good if you know yeah. what I mean. And it's, it's, their style is, is almost pro anyway, even yeah. as amateurs. So we, we don't know what we're getting, but you know, he's a southpaw, I've just been yeah, watching his father, Jerome. Listen, like, I, I don't care about him. I, I don't care, like, the offer the fight, I looked at him for fucking typical southpaw, whatever. It's been it's been exciting for me, because normally, you know, when I'm watching boxing, like, I always watch two orthodox fights, or two southpaws fight. I never really bother watching an orthodox or a southpaw, because it doesn't interest me, like, I'm not boxing a southpaw, or, or not scheduled to watch Southpaw, so I never watch it, but I've been watching a lot more Orthodox these Southpaws and I don't know, and like sparring lads that I wouldn't usually spar, getting to know the lads. It's been it's been good. Um it, whatever he is and whatever he does it's not my problem, I just worry about myself and I I can I can tell people don't think I'm I'm gonna win in that, but I just know. I, I some of some of that I just know I'm gonna be. I, I don't it, even it, think it's it really strange that to, to feel that it, Everyone, well, not not on your team, I believe, and that's certainly not me. But uh, you are being classed as the underdog. You yeah. are being brought in to, to get beat, yeah, if you know what I mean. Exactly. Get this guy his first title. Um, yeah. But that's strange. It's only his second fight, and he's, as you were saying before, he's not Lomachenko. Yeah, like you know, Lomachenko, like Lomachenko's Lomachenko. He dominated amateur boxing for years. What? Good part of ten years mm -hmm. as a senior. For like he was a junior, I didn't really know much about junior. But for ten years, he was like the the man. Olympics, but in Val Barker trophies, everything. He, so like when he turned pro, if plus all the WSB experience, he was always gonna be fast track. This lad, I don't really know much. Like he's obviously a good amateur, but there's a lot of good match of it from England that you wouldn't put in from a second fight. It was because the unknown. He's from Kazakhstan. He's a southpaw. Blah, blah, blah. I really, I, I honestly, I don't think it's going to be that hard mm -hmm. 
to, to, once I've got to grips with it. But you've not trained that way. You've trained, like I said, I mean, you, you train ridiculously hard. I've never seen you in, in better physical conditioning than, than I've seen you as a professional. Yeah. Um, and I said it last time, I think your mindset seems to be the best that it's ever been. So I'm, I'm really excited for you, mate. This is a, a great opportunity for you to, to, to reach I think it was said, and I think Kofi spoke about it. Kofi, the kid, he has on your shot, he gets everywhere. That was dead. He was on the yeah, shot. Yeah, he was on the app, though, yeah. <laughs> but um, he mentioned that when you were at Jimmy Egan's, and at Jimmy Egan's, when you had Tyson Fury there, Jimmy Kelly, you know, Jose Burton, you know, you had some quality, quality lads. Mm. Jimmy Egan, he's like, he's almost, he's, 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 his last words on his deathbed was, mm. Michael McGowan's going to be the man who will be a world champion. Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't know how true that story is or whatever, but uh, it's a good story, though. Isn't it? Yeah, it's a good story. Um, I, I, I've always, I'm, I've always knew that there's something there that I, I haven't shown yet, and I believe next week I'll show it. And people expect me to be a certain way because of previous fights they've seen or certain mentality they've seen for me, but they, they ain't seen nothing. And like, I think whoever's looking after this guy, uh, they've dropped a bollock here. Like they've, they've looked at me, I, I know the score, I'm a fan of boxing, I know the, the score, you get the top amateur and then they put him in with a seasoned pro and seasoned pro walks at him with their hands up, expecting to walk him down but because they're not actually doing much, just actually walking out with their hands up, they end up getting pummeled and they end up getting stopped but that's not going to be the case, like I'm not going to walk out of fucking South Pole, you don't walk at South Pole, they with your hands up, they fucking tee up with well, all day. I, I like what you were saying before, you, you've done a lot of sparring with um, Savannah Marshall yeah. and Savannah obviously won a world title last weekend yeah. and in spectacular style as well um, and you were saying, you know, she made you stick to your boxing yeah. because She's a girl. Yeah, you know, of course. I mean, there's no ego. Like I've never gone conversation. There's no ego there. Like not being horrible. Like she, she's a girl. That doesn't take away. But sparring, sparring, it like skill set be skill set. So like maybe if I made it more physical, I might have made. But you're not there to win spars convincingly or anything like that. You're you're there to get better. And she's a world class amateur and a world class professional now. So when she's, I'm sparring her and she's beating me in a boxing match, I've then got to go, right, instead of putting my hands up and just walking out or swinging away, which might make me win a round of the spar, I've got to actually adjust and listen to Gary and what she's actually saying and, and box more. So end up making my game step up. Like, if you hit her, she hits you back straight away. You know what I mean? It's, it, it's wonderful sparring and like when I'm going to, when I'm sparring males now, I can take that ego out of it. Like it's not like, oh, I'm getting beaten in a boxing spar. Right, let me just try and hammer him now to to say I've won a spar. What's the point in saying that I've, I've won a spar? Like there's no point. <laughs> Might as well practice something like sparring Jerome there. And like if he's landing somewhat, well, as we're tapping about, then I think right, I've got to do something different. Not just walk it with my hands up. Like that's that walking at people with your hands up, getting involved in a war. It's there when you need it to be. Like I've, I've got. I've got on record saying I can, I can go all day if I need to, but it, you won't have a long because career. Because sometimes it's fair to say you have neglected those boxing skills that we all know you have. Yeah. So you can have a fight, but that's usually yeah. because you perhaps wasn't fit enough to, yeah. to, 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 to stick to the boxing game plan. And it was easier for you just to go, well, sod this, let's have a little walk. Yeah, that's it, yeah, like, the sod this, yeah, like, sod this with a diet and sod this with, like, when I get in a ring, like, because, you know, the thing is, like, I'm not really scared of fighting. Like, it doesn't scare me. You've got to be willing, so you can't, <laughs> you can't be afraid of fighting, I'm not. You? I'm not scared of fighting, so, like, when when I, when the fight's coming up, I think, it's just, it's just a fight, innit, like, I'm getting there, I'm just going to fight. So, probably, like, I don't do what I should do, because the fear's not there, whereas, like, obviously, I'm not fearing the opponent, I'm not fearing the occasion, I'm not fearing being humiliated, I'm fear of not achieving what I want to achieve so now I've got to zone in and think right got to be on the ball now start concentrating like I ain't got to impress anybody I ain't got to, I only got a person I've got to impress myself. It's fair for you you know behind closed doors exactly well, yeah. so you give you a chance to, to stick to that game plan. And, and I'm not I'm not the A side or whatever you want to fucking call like A side B side but in green side blue corner I don't <laughs> fucking know but I'm not there's no 
I don't have to go like there's a crowd there that I've got to impress or I've got to make sure it's entertaining for them. This is like, for you though. This is for me. Just go in there, box, win a title, go home. That's it. Like there's no problem with it. Like I, I, people think it's gonna be a tough fight, but I, I don't think it will be. Well, I know it won't be. Like yeah. you, you, I, I once I've got it to might be a tough fight, but not for you. Yeah, I mean, on paper on tough fights and all that, and yeah, he's this and he's amateur boxing and whatever. I'm, it's just it's just a fight in it, and I'll be better than him on the night, and I'll and I'll win. Well, listen, uh, fingers crossed for you, mate. Yeah. Uh, week tomorrow, uh, it's going to be on AFL, isn't it? Yeah. On the ESPN. Yeah, like yeah, I do, I do, as you said, I've never watched on that. <laughs> I've watched it on AFL. Yeah. It, lo it looks good, done it. The, the top rank sign and the ESPN plus on the poster, <laughs> it makes it look more official. But uh, just want to thank you know, I'm just, uh, sparring partners really, like not not and sparring partners. I've, People that have come to spy, I mean, and just not uh, Kyle and uh, Kyle Lamont in the first spy, and then I sparred John Arden, and I just want to thank everyone down at Fight Now, if anyone him. don't know John Arden, John Arden was a kid who got a terrible decision yeah. uh, against uh, John Edge, he's one of yeah. making his debut. He, 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 he's, he's an away fighter, but he's, rec he's, he's got great skills and a great fighter, and record doesn't suggest that. But is he trained by Paulie uh, yeah. De Silva? Is he? No, the fight Paulie Patrick. De Silva. So all the lads there at Fight Factory, we, we spent a lot of time there, me and Gary, and they were brilliant. Sean, Paulie, and we saw what I'd like to thank them, and obviously Jerome coming down, Jerome Warburton. That was, was, you know, and then Savannah before all that, before I was fighting the Southport, and, mm -hmm. and then Marlon, who's in the gym as well, who's actually come Southport, <laughs> started training Southport to help us out with technique and stuff. So. It's been a really uh, massive effort from everyone and I've really enjoyed it. So. You know what I like mate, you, you seem to be in a really, really good place, so that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. So I, I know, I know you're going to go out there and bring that title home. Yeah. So, uh, and uh, obviously all these... What is it, the WBC <laughs> International is it? Yeah, I've... I've if, you, if you send them over to me again yeah. mate, I will yeah. put them all through. The, these, the, your sponsors are these, the sponsors of the gym. The, 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 he and his civils, he helped me out when I was going over to Dubai. Yeah. Uh, JPS, I think he, he helps us out now. Uh, Ryan, Benchmark, you know, don't know who these are. These are carries, I think. And yeah. uh, I've got my sponsors, Yellowstone and... Um, Which is Kofi Yates, isn't Yeah, it? Broadhead Developments. He's, he's my boss, but like, is helping me train full-time as well. And um, yeah. 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 Well, Good luck for a week tomorrow. Yeah, and uh, I've got another one, I forgot the name. We'll send him over. And I'm going Big to Jack. <laughs> Big Jack. In, you know, I don't know the name. But well, have, you, have they got little logos? Yeah. Right, we'll send them over yeah. and we'll run them through the video. Good luck for. It's the 11th? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the Heavy Civils is the guy. Have you boxed? He? Phil Hennigan. Oh, is he? Yeah. I always change the name of the thingy. Don't yeah. there's anything construction. Heaney now. Yeah. yeah. He's good. <laughs> you mean one who beat me, not me out? Oh, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's lucky punch. <laughs> yeah. Probably more than there's about 40 of them. <laughs> <laughs> right, listen, um, I look forward to seeing you bone with that belt. Yeah. WBC Silver International? No, is it? I think it's WBC International. I think right. I skipped the silver. Right, okay. I must be. Uh... Is, that, is, so is that better? Or? <laughs> No, no. There's hundreds of titles. Listen, it gives you a little, yeah, it's a green belt that looks good to show the kids, don't it? <laughs> you know what I mean? So. Alright, we can take care right, of nice See me. you now, appreciate Bye. that. For all boxing, info, news and latest interviews, amateur and pro, across and off, click and subscribe. VIP, boxing promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.